how to find 10 best multi tools in No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky multi tools have some good ones, but I'm gonna show you the best. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Cubo, back at ya. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a multi-tool collection of guaranteed S-Class locations. That's right already that's 10 reasons to stick around or maybe 11 who knows so hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet for more and let's get to it one last thing if you're a new player and you want some cool weapons as well watch my portal guide after this video it got everything you need to know to be able to get a weapon for yourself like the ones I'm gonna show today. Links for that guide will be in the cards up top, on the right, and in the description below as well. Okay, so let's fire up this portal and enter the glyphs for the first location out of 10 that I'm gonna show you today. And this location was found by Orion SR from my Discord server. Awesome find, my dude. It's located on an outlaw system i had to show you at least one weapon that is located there to show you the difference it's in the euclid galaxy the first glyph is a diplo then a rising sun a three a diplo two tiki face and two birds one rising sun two tiki face again and the last one is gonna be a bird Just remember before you enter the portal for every multi-tool or ship as well you got to go into your network settings and disable the multiplayer you gotta do that because other players can be there as well even if you don't see them and they can snatch the weapon and it won't be there for you so be sure to do that and let's go Whoop. And we arrived. This is the name of the planet the weapon is located on. Planet Tahas. Let me show you in the discoveries tab. This is the system that we are in. If it won't be the same for you, that means you're in the wrong galaxy. You need to be in the Euclid starter galaxy. So go to any space station teleporter and find your way home back to Euclid, locate a portal and then enter those glyphs. There's three planets in this system and this is the one, the buggy planet. The location will be marked with the communication station as you can see. So let's go there real quick. Okay, and we arrived at the settlement and actually this is two weapons at the same location. So if you just approach the cabinet without doing anything, without reloading on or anything, you will find this weapon. This is a space anomaly weapon. Yep. If you want to see this weapon again, you need to reload on the space anomaly in this system. And this is the S-Class. As you can see, it got 12 slots. It's a mid rifle, colors of yellow and kind of glowing purple crystal. Looks awesome, gotta say, but this is not the best one that I'm talking about. To see the second weapon, what you need to do is just go back to your ship, make an autosave and reload. Then come back here and you will see this cool looking experimental weapon. Look at this, look at this cool, the hand of matter, cool name, red and yellow crystals, yellow smear. Look at that, so cool, so slick looking. And the difference between a regular system and an outlaw system is S-Class weapons will be with 18 slots, not 24, but you can upgrade them at the space station if you want to at any regular space station there's a multi-tool outfitting uh, station by the merchant you will see it but this is quite a unique weapon i had to show you this one awesome fine orion those are the coordinates to get here to this settlement and the glyphs for this planet as well euclid galaxy like i said you're welcome to come here and snatch this weapon for yourself oh yeah the second weapon was found 
found by Andre Pichang from my Discord server as well. Awesome find, my dude. Really, really good one. I had to share. And once you go out of the portal, you can see the communication station right away, like you see here. This is the system. Let's check in the discoveries tab. There you go. Three planets. The weapon is located on the middle one, the ringed planet, super easy to find. So let's go there real quick. Let's land and let's get inside. But before we do, remember to reload your auto save. You gotta do that. Otherwise you won't see the weapon. And the best is to reload at the settlement. Otherwise you can uh, lose the location of the communication station. Look at that. This is the second weapon we got today. Such an amazing color you got to it. Cyan with blue. Look at this so cool very very unique and this is a regular system so 24 slots with an s class seven and a half mil the skin range can be higher but doesn't really make a lot of difference this is a alien multi-tool that means it's best for high damage if you want a strong weapon go for this one there we go okay those are the glyphs and the coordinates to get here in the Euclid Galaxy as well. Awesome find, Andre. We got a couple more. Thank you for all the multi tools you post, man. And let's go for the next one. Come on. Okay, weapon number three. We are in New Bud. This is the name of the planet. And this is a very, very special multi tool. Very awesome looking. I gotta say, it was found by Zeki Kids World on the NMS Coordinates Exchange. Really awesome find. I went and find the S class for this weapon. As you can see, there's a save beacon, a yellow marker. So let's go to it real quick on the same planet. This is the system. I'm gonna show you in the discoveries tab real quick. There's six planets. But this one is the one you want to go for. You're going to be here when you're going to exit the portal. But just in case, I'm going to show you which planet the S-Class is located on. A dusty planet with a cactus flesh. Really easy to spot right in the middle. Okay, let's go to the settlement real quick. No extra instructions. You don't have to do anything. No reload or nothing. Just come here to this settlement. Let's get inside and look at this awesome alien weapon. Trace of fire. Two crystals. This is a double crystal, yellow, kind of cool looking. It's kind of red at the tip. Nice, really cool. Yellow crystals at the barrel. Super cool, super cool. I really like this one. I'm gonna snatch some weapons from this uh, <laughs> locations today. I don't know if I have enough room for everything. Hope I will, but this one is quite a keeper. Seven and a half mil, 24 slots, the max. Nice scan range. There's nothing wrong to say on this weapon. Also, it comes with the paralysis mortar weapon. So uh, take that in mind. This is an awesome secondary weapon. And if you're a new player and don't have that blueprint yet, this is the way to get it. Okay. Those those are the coordinates and the glyphs to get here to this settlement, this planet. There we go. In the Euclid Galaxy. Oh yeah. Weapon number three. And let's go for the next one. Come on. Okay. Weapon number four. We arrived and this is the system you're gonna show up in. The system is called Tiesto. Really love your music, man. <laughs> You're gonna be on this planet at the middle, the ring planet, but the weapon is really easy to get. You don't have to do anything, no reload, no nothing, no finding any cabinets. You just need to go into the space station and that's it, it's gonna be there. It's a space station weapon. If you don't see it, reload at the space station. Let's go and check it out real quick. There we go. And this is uh, one of the best experimental weapons that I've ever seen white with the hive decals look at that so cool and black crystals if your character is white and black and most is you gotta have this one super awesome weapon it was found by donzo 29 on the nms coordinates exchange awesome find my dude really really awesome and those are the glyphs to get here in the euclid galaxy as well oh yeah Okay, let's go for the next one. Weapon number five was found by Adam Mac on my Discord server. Awesome multi-tool hunter. And this is really a really unique weapon. Trust me on that one. As you can see in the discoveries tab, this system is called the Law System. And the weapon is located on the planet that is named the Great White. Experimental. 
<laughs> discovered by uh, Blue Guyver. This is uh, his in-game name. The Noxious Planet with the Fungal Mold. So let's go there real quick and let's reload our autosave just as you arrive. And let's get inside and check this out, you guys. This one is a all white experimental weapon with plasma tubers, glowing tubers. Anyway, you want to call them, but they're <laughs> so cool. Look at that. You gotta have one at least. You can hold up to six now, up to six multi tools since the Sentinel update, but you gotta equip yourself with one of those at least. Seven and a half mil, 24 slots, regular stats for uh, experimental. There we go. And those are the coordinates to get to the settlement and the glyphs as well and in the Euclid galaxy. Awesome find Adam, thank you for sharing it with us and let's go for the next one, weapon number 6 that was found by Andre Pechang, the second find for today from him, really awesome one. You're gonna be arriving on this system. This class cabinet is located on this planet, the barren planet with the cactus flesh and aggressive sentinels. Yeah. So let's go there real quick. Now, one of the updates changed the location of the S class. So I went and find the S class back again and I placed a yellow save marker. So uh, let's go there real quick and land. And once you get here, just reload your autosave to see the weapon. Otherwise you won't see it. Let's get inside and there it is. Is. look at that what a unique color combination really stands out with the blue crystals i gotta say blue crystals are my favorite because they are so rare look at that and green at the tip of the weapon look at that full-on spiked weapon so many spikes really awesome those are the coordinates to get to the settlement and the glyphs as well and in the Euclid galaxy oh yeah thank you andre and let's go for the next one and weapon number seven was posted on my uh, discord server by noreen and this is quite a doozy let's go and check it real quick but well, before that, let me show you the system we are in, in the discoveries tab. Look at that. This is the system you gotta be in. And the S-Class multi-tool is located on the contaminated planet with the salvageable scrap. Yeah, say that three times in a row. <laughs> okay, let's go there real quick. Come on. So many communication station. This is a really uh, good weapon. Let's get inside and check it out. Look at that. Double crystals. The second one today, like a cyan color and full on spikes. Look at that. With red color at the tip of the barrel. This is a lipstick gun. Super cool, awesome. If you want this for yourself, those are the cords for this settlement and the glyphs to get to it. Okay. Let's go to the next weapon number eight. This is an experimental weapon. It was found by Animus7160 on the Animus Coins Exchange. And look at that. This is the system you're going to be in when you arrive. And the S class weapon is located on Ozawa planet the freezing planet with the frost crystal on it so let's go that real quick gonna show you the weapon the weather is insanely bad here so be quick about it <laughs> let's get inside don't have to reload no nothing and let's check out this is the rarest experimental weapon there is the carrot look at that that's his name the green color is so bright it's like glowing and look at that the orange color is so cool with bubbles feature. There we go. I gotta say it's a quite rare one. Those are the coordinates and the glyphs to get to here. What a cool weapon. Awesome find. I believe Scotty found the S-Class location. So thank you for that, Scotty. And let's go for the next one. Weapon number nine. Only two more to go. So many today. Oh my. Let's go. This one was found by Propa NMS. Such a cool and unique weapon. The ultimate design. Let's go check it out. Before that, this is the system. You gotta be in when you arrive. So you know this is the right place. There's a base near to the location. So easy to get to. It's the noxious planet with the fungal mold. Okay, let's go there real quick. Let's get inside and look at that. If you want a matching set to the one I showed you today with the black crystals, take this one. This is with the horns, but uh, 
almost the same one comes with the paralysis mortal weapon i gotta say awesome weapon check it out one of the coolest there is oh yeah there we go okay and those are the cords to get to this settlement and the glyphs to get to here oh yeah and the Euclid galaxy of course okay let's go to the last weapon that i got to show you today and it's i think the best one you know me i saved the best for last let's go and we arrive this is weapon number 10 was found by t wade let's go and check it out it's a lipstick alien and once you get out of the portal you're gonna be located in this system on the ring planet that is called you last bull well is what it is there's a base there so uh, you can teleport right there from uh, a different teleporter that's the location over there as you can see but i see there's a base here so let's use that one there we go and we have a teleporter let's go right over there choose the auto bases tab and s class rifle there we go and the location of the settlement is right over there let's get inside and check it out what a rare and cool weapon this is a weapon i never did before got two horns on the sides like a slingshot super unique and the blue crystal on the front i think i'm gonna get it for myself and what a name destroyer of the ancients i gotta have this one that's for sure <laughs> look at that this is uh, one of the best ones i ever saw super cool and those are the coordinates to get to, to this settlement and the glyphs to get to here oh yeah what a run oh my it was like a speed run 10 weapons don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you haven't yet for more i want to say thanks i hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one bye everyone i'm gonna get myself a couple of movie tools oh yeah